Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Octopath Traveler Champions of the Continent video. And today I was lucky enough to be part of the closed beta. I got my invitation. I was so stoked. I went ahead and got on around 8 o'clock today and I've been playing ever since. I've put about 10 hours already, I think, into the game. And uh, I do play the JP side, so it's nothing really much different. But the biggest thing for me is that I can finally read what is happening in the story. So that is huge. That is a huge, huge win for me. Um, we did do a live stream earlier this evening, and uh, thank you guys for anybody who showed up to that. Um, but we also did have a lot of questions, and I felt like for anybody that was not able to make it, um, I wanted to go ahead and put these, you know, the questions and answers out there. So just in case you do, or you you do manage to get the, the you know an invitation to the beta, you can go ahead and be ready for this stuff. Um, the first thing, the front of the first questions was. You know, duh, then the major questions was, are you going to spend a lot of money on the re-rolling and on the gotcha? Well, for the short answer for that one is absolutely not. And the reason why is that we do have a gotcha, absolutely. Um, but if you actually click on the add currency, it will tell you the shop cannot be accessed in the closed beta. So therefore, you cannot spend any money. There will be a gotcha system. As you can see, we do have our five star units in here. Um, Depending on how many crystals you have, they will be given us daily, um, daily crystals, and you can also get some through the story, leveling up your fame, wealth, and uh, power tabs. I mean, there's there's a lot of ways you can do it. I am currently just doing single pulls because there is no guaranteed five star on a ten roll. So I might as well just ch uh, you know throw my luck out there doing a thirty pull then thirty pull you know now you know kind of just have fun with it. So another question was tier list. Guys, do not worry about a tier list. It is an open beta. I recommend that you get your characters, just have fun with the game, test it out, see how you like it, and then go from there. When the global release comes out, we will actually have a tier list for you. If that's something you're really interested in, I think that would be the great, you know, a great time to do some kind of tier list. But the game provides a lot of units, uh, for, and the game is very free to play. There should be no real reason why you should be spending money anyways, unless you, you know, have to have a unit and you're not able to get it using your free crystals. Um, I, which I do totally get that, you know, that's the gotcha life. Um, the next big thing is the news tab. Um, I don't know if a lot of people are going into this, but this actually tells you a lot about what the beta is going to be offering. So for what the beta is going to be offering is it will be doing stories for Masters of Wealth, Power, and Fame. I started on Power, and when I completed it, it was roughly around a three to four hour time frame. Um, it does not go all the way. It does end at Chapter 2. So just make sure... You, you kind of aware of that as well. It will not finish the story in um, the beta, which is, you know, it's kind of, that's kind of how it works. You know, when they, the global release comes out, they want you to enjoy the whole story as a whole. So the next thing is traveler stories. Now there will be traveler stories like for, let's say Millard. Um, they're only portions of the traveler story. So you, it won't be the full version of that either. Uh, basically we're just getting like a small rough draft uh, to play the game and kind of you know mess around so you can get the feel of it and stuff like that for the global side and so far it's been great i've had a couple of disconnects but nothing major it feels just as clean as a jp side um but again i can read it <laughs> uh we also are gonna have side stories uh memoirs we also have the um item distribution i love uh, this is gonna be really cool so they will be distributing rubies and in-game items during the closed beta which is awesome i didn't think they were gonna do that i thought they were just gonna kind of leave us with the in-game content and then hang us out to dry but no they will be providing us with uh currency so that we can spend in the shop while the beta is active um one of the biggest biggest questions is do i get to back up my data once the beta ends and the sad story is here is you cannot. If you check here at the bottom, it says, um, at the very bottom, it says, also note that you will not be able to import your progress from the closed beta to the official release version, which makes a lot of sense. This is to uh, this is what a beta is. It's to test the servers, uh, test to make sure there's no bugs in the game, uh, make sure the gotcha is working correctly, maybe percentages they need to check out. So we, they definitely don't want you spending real money and, you know, getting, you know, shafted, uh, you know, in a beta, basically. Um, so we're here just to test it. So, yeah, guys, it is um, none of them will carry over. So, I mean, abs absolutely. If you want to put some time into it and level up all your characters just to kind of get yourself ready for the global version, I 100% get it. I actually might do that myself. I, I love the game that much to just keep playing it and playing it. <laughs> So guys, I just want to, you know, touch base with you guys and answer a couple of questions, you know, 
I know a lot of people had these during the stream. So I uh, just want to throw this video out there to see what I can do to help. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop in the comments below. I'll try to answer them within a day or two. But that's all I have for you guys tonight. You guys have a good and safe night. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.